Stephen Avery became engaged to this beautiful statuesque blonde. I watched the documentary and I concluded that he was set up. I was in the middle of a divorce and I wrote a letter that night. A couple of weeks later, he wrote me back. What was your reaction when you got the letter? I was speechless. When I first saw him, he looks like the sweetest little teddy bear I've ever seen in my life. Within the first month, he was telling me he knew that he wanted me to be his wife. My ex-husband was a police officer, and now I'm seeing a convicted murderer in a prison. Is I've been with a cop. I'm going to go with a criminal. <laughs> yeah. He's on the phone now, calling from Wapon Correctional Institution in Wisconsin. Stephen, are you there? Yes, I am. Oh my God. So why do you want to marry Lynn? Because uh, I'm in love with her. When do you want the wedding to be? Will you do it behind bars? Well, I kind of want to wait until I'm out. So I'll be right around the corner. Your ex fiance Jody, was saying that you were abusive to her and that she was scared for her life. What do you say about her saying that she had to eat rat poison to get away from you? That says it all in, yeah, in a nutshell. All. That's all false information. So Lynn has nothing to worry about as far as you being abusive or violent with her, correct? Oh yeah, that's 100% correct. One of the things that he would like to do is to get out and for the two of you to just go off into the woods to live alone. Would you feel comfortable doing that? No. Thank you. You have to understand that giving everything that surrounds this, this is a high risk candidate. If you say there is zero chance that he's guilty of this crime, you are naive. Well, we reached out to Lynn uh, for an update and she gave us this statement. After appearing on the Dr. Phil show last year, I received threatening calls and letters from Stephen Avery. I blocked calls from Mr. Avery and had to ask the correctional institution to issue a no contact order to prevent any further communication or contact from Mr. Avery. The threatening letters were so graphic and evil that I no longer believed Mr. Avery was innocent of the crimes he was convicted of. So I ended the relationship October 1st, 2016. I have taken many measures to ensure my safety and the safety of my family by alerting law enforcement and reporting the threats to the authorities. What do you say about that? Yeah, I can't co comment about some woman who, who you know, has never met anybody who writes to him in prison and decides she wants to, to marry him. Um, you know, she's got some issues of her own. It's simply false that that he has this long history of women that he's been abusive to. You saw these letters that he wrote to his ex-wife where he's very angry. Um, but that's because he's gone through a divorce and she's then said, I'm not going to bring your children to visit you. Imagine this guy, he's in prison wrongly convicted and she's now refusing to take the kids there. Of course he's angry.